give a damn. <laughs> Light skin wow. overlord, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, I was gonna type dark overlord, but it wouldn't have worked. It would have been like, oh, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> Light uh, skin or really? Yeah. We're going to bring out the paper bag test today. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get you links on the uh, the question right away about um, we're talking a little bit about weight loss. Can you tell us a little bit about your process when you went through? Yeah, tell us about your process. Oh, <laughs> look at the look you just gave me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> They're hating. They're, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lynx, tell us about you. you know. um, I'll you all right. Well, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on and what went on and all that other shit. Uh, so roughly, it was, it's now over a year ago. It's about a year and two months ago now. Um, mm -hmm. I was 290 pounds, and I was flirting with you know, high blood pressure. Well, I, there was no flirting with that shit. I had it. Uh, and, you know, they were putting me on meds and all that other shit, and it just wasn't cool. And I kind of had a brush with death. <laughs> and um, that brush with death kind of made me go, huh, maybe I should fix this shit. Maybe I should take care of it. So I did. And the big part was education, really, just kind of educating yourself on what food really is, uh, what the garbage is that you're putting in your mouth. Because, you know, a lot of us, I don't know if y'all do or not, so I'm just going to put it out there. If a bullet hits you, a bullet hits you. A lot of us don't think we eat a lot. And the truth of the matter is we don't. You really don't eat a lot. It's a matter of the caloric density of what you're eating. Right. So yeah. when you go to, say, McDonald's, right, and you have that number two, that number two is 1,700 calories when you include the soda. Right, oh. right. Like, think right. about this now. If you're, if, world. Right, yeah. like, if you're five foot <laughs> 11 and all it takes to maintain your weight is 2,000 calories, if that's all it takes, that yeah. one meal is most of the what, of what you need. Wow. Now, are you really going to only eat once a day? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody yeah. is. People are going to be like, not. oh. I only eat three. I eat three times a day. It's not a whole lot. I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. Well, you have to look at what you're eating. Yeah. So it's like, truth be told, you can eat whatever you want. You really can. Um, but you have to understand what your needs are as a person. Like nature could not have foreseen 24-hour access to food seven days a week, and not just food, but caloric. Dense food. Well, like, yeah, and food that's not connected to some physical activity. Exactly. Like, now your ass is not hunting the food down, and um, there, exactly. there's really no activity involved in the preparation anymore either. Right. You're exactly. not churning butter or anything like that. <laughs> exactly. So what I discovered was this cool little trick that bodybuilders have actually been using for decades now, and it's called intermittent fasting. A, a lot of people hear the word fasting and they think you're starving. That's not the case. Uh, the way it works is it's a return back to how humans evolved. So basically, we did not evolve waking up with instant access to food. You woke up, you hunted all day, and when you finally caught something, you gorged on it. Right. <laughs> humans don't do that anymore. So when you go with intermittent fasting, what it does is the science behind it, and it's actually documented, you can look it up, is that your body lives in a fasting state when you're not eating, right? You, when you're sleeping, for instance, that's a fasting state. Why do you think breakfast is called breakfast? Because you're breaking your fast. Right. Um, your body during that time is using fat for fuel. When you eat, your body actually takes the food and uses that for fuel. So if you wake up, say, don't eat breakfast, skip breakfast, uh, you can have an eight-hour eating window. Uh, depending on what your weight loss goals are, you can shrink that window. So I right now currently live on a four-hour eating window. Uh, I have four hours to get all of my calories in. and that's So we're talking I eat the same amount that I'm supposed to eat to maintain or lose weight. But the majority of my day is actually spent burning fat for energy as opposed to the food. Um, and it works out really well when you're eating clean. 
Now, this is where I always tell people, yeah, you can eat whatever the hell you want and still lose weight if you stay below a certain calorie number. Um, but you're going to be hungry, and you're going to feel like you're starving. It's just the way it is. So if you turn around and decide to start eating clean, um, I take, like, you know, a pound, 16 ounces of meat and brown rice. It's like this really cute little mixture or whatever. That's a pound of food, and it's like 400 calories. And I just ate a pound. You know, <laughs> I got to do this within four hours to make up, you know, how much it takes. That's like you, eat, you end up eating four or five pounds of food. You're not hungry. <laughs> you're pissed at yourself for eating four or five pounds of food. Right. <laughs> and you're still under your caloric intake needs, and you will lose weight. When I throw in exercise with it, I can, I can reliably drop between two and five pounds of fat a week when I throw in exercise. Mm. Um, now, of course, everybody's, everybody's results are going to differ because it all depends on how you exercise, what kind of exercise you're doing. But I guess the reality of it is if you educate yourself about the food and you consciously eat, yeah. you can do whatever you want with your body. You have the education now to do what you want. If your goal is to have a beach belly, you can meet you can meet that goal. Because the reality is, I still like my big boys. Like people will be like, "Oh, you're losing weight. You don't want to be a bear anymore. You don't like bears." I'm like, that's "No, so that's not the case. What it really is, it's about me. I like the way it looks on other people. I just don't like the way it looks on me." <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly the way I feel. I feel the exact same way. I love it on other people, but I don't like it on me. Right, and people will say, you know, I'm fat shaming or whatever. Like, I got all sorts of shit from the bear community for this. And I'm like, fat shaming my ass. <laughs> and I, I'm very, you know what, I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in the tension between, like, now because, you know, there there are terms like fat shaming and people who are, you know, proud big boys or proud big girls or whatever. This tension between being comfortable in your own skin and not being in denial and recognizing the fact that you are bordering on unhealthy. Right. You know, <laughs> that you are you are you are flirting with high blood pressure and diabetes and arth early arthritis cuz that shit is a stress yeah. on your knees and your back. Um so, you know, I, I definitely I continue to speak to that. I I'm very interested in that cuz yeah. Well, right. I mean, my whole thing is like, you know, I am I'm terribly jealous of people who are very confident in their skin. You know, they are in a place where they are just happy with it. They can go to the beach, take their shirt off, and not give two shits. And I think that's great. Yeah. To me, that's yeah, very yeah. sexy. Yeah. I wish I could do it. Um, but instead of just sitting around wishing I could do it, I just decided that I'm going to do something about it. This is a controllable. And you control the controllables. This is a controllable. If you want to be a muscle bear, you can do that. If you want to be skinny, you can do that. Like, it, it, was a, it was an awakening, really. Like, you really do have ultimate control over your body. You don't have to worry about what other people are telling you, what other people are saying in terms of how you look. It's all about whether you like it. And if you like it, that's cool. My problem was that I don't like it. And everyone thinks that because I don't like it, I'm trying to say that fat is bad. And I'm like, mm -mm, no, not really. <laughs> it's like, you know, my partner's <laughs> losing weight. And I'm like, well, he, you know, yeah, he's losing weight and he's happy with it. I was trying to get him to gain weight for the longest time. So how am I trying to say that fat is bad? But I had a brush with death. I mean, let's just be real here. You know, I, it's like my body was poisoning itself. I had high blood pressure. Um, I was flirting with diabetes. I wasn't there yet, but I was flirting with it. I was flirting with cholesterol issues. You know, at the end of the day, I, I want to live. You know, I may not be afraid of death. That doesn't mean I want to die. So, you know, and, and there were things that I hadn't done yet that I wanted to do that I couldn't do physically as a bigger person. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, once, once tomorrow is taken away from you and then given back to you, once it's like, shit, I don't have tomorrow anymore, but then it's given back. All those things you want to do, you end up, you find a way to do it, and there are things I just wasn't physically capable of doing. Mm -hmm. So, a year ago, I embarked on this little journey, and my goal is not to be thin by any means. I don't want that. I don't. To me, that's not attractive. So, yeah. my goal is muscle. 
Yeah, I was so I just educated myself. About the, the, your goals. Well, I thought you had an interesting uh, message on Facebook about that. Like, you know, having an arbitrary weight goal seems kind of weird because I like having more concrete goals, you know, like in your imagination, like what you want to do, what you want to look like, you know, and those sorts of things. Exactly. You know, a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, basically, having an arbitrary weight goal. You're going to be. You're going to easily. Most people will easily fall into the trap of ten more pounds, just ten more, and it becomes. And it actually becomes a sickness, an obsession. Before you know it, you are. And it works in both directions. Just ten more pounds gained. You know. Oh, I just need ten more pounds of muscle. Or I just need to lose ten more pounds. When if you actually make smaller, more attainable goals that are things that you can physically feel or physically see, it's like. Well, you know, for me, one of my goals, I don't care how silly people think it is, but, you know, my goal for this year was to be able to dress up as something other than, you know, the Michelin Man or Stay Puff for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I love Halloween. Good you know? goal. Good, good. Because, yeah, because I'm, try I'm oh. trying to dress up as Buddha. It really bugs me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you really stop and think about it, it's like, okay, well, I want to be able to dress up as something else. Yeah. Halloween's my thing, and it's like, hey, if I can make that goal by that time, I'm happy. It doesn't really matter what the actual weight is because your actual weight's going to fluctuate, you know? So can I fit into that costume now? And luckily I can. So, you know, goal met. Now right. what's my next goal, you know? Yeah. I want to I have my T-shirts stretch around my arms. That's yeah. my next goal. That doesn't so it, it there's no unattainable number right. where if you don't make this number you're a failure. It's more about do can you make this tangible goal, not this number goal. Yeah. You, you know your body might not be meant to weigh less than 200 pounds. You might have bone density plus muscle density that's going to keep you at 200 pounds no matter how much fat you lose. Yeah. So. You can't make these number goals. These number goals are kind of what people will fail at and then be discouraged by. Yeah. So you kind of have to find that thing for you, whatever that may be. Yeah. You know, hey, I want to save $2 in gas every week. Believe it or not, <laughs> losing pounds will help you save gas money. <laughs> Lynx, mm. are there people giving head on your logo? <laughs> you made it. Wow. It's like Breeze, you made it. Right. You made it, Breeze. You oh, made I'm it. Sorry. <laughs> A mess. It's, holy oh, shit. I want that. I want that. I mean, <laughs> A mess. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. So, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, I, made you made it, though, so. I did, but still, I, I just know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was totally. I was doing some technical stuff on the background, and I that was is awesome. And it's happening like over. So. <laughs> that is wow. Wonderful. I did. I did, but I didn't know. I didn't mm -hmm. know that people. I were going want to one too, Betty. <laughs> so you're gonna have to go to the Google thing and pull it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'll we'll we'll work it out. I am. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I was doing the technical stuff, and um. Right. There you go. There you go. But no, I, I, thought I, that was I really good. my overall message to people, my overall message is whatever body goal you have, hmm. I don't care what that body goal is. It really is none of my damn business. I have my own shit to worry about. But whatever <laughs> your body goal is, if you educate yourself on the tools, because food is just a tool. If you educate yourself on the tools, you can meet that goal. Yeah. Anybody who, who does not have a mental physical handicap or some kind of, you know, medic medical thing, if you are otherwise healthy, you can reach whatever body goal that is. And if your body goal is to be a nice, big, burly bear, as far as I'm concerned, go with it because that's more eye candy for me to look at. <laughs> and this why fucks with Lynx. This why fucks with Lynx. Yeah. Fucks with you. They said this on the talk. Mm. They said, do you eat to live or you live to eat? Right. You have to eat to live. Right. Do right. not live to eat. And it depends on what you're talk. eating. I think it depends on what you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> You're not actually right. testing somebody's ass. You're just licking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I don't think. Does sperm have that many calories in it? 
I don't think so. <laughs> uh, actually, sperm has roughly, uh, I think it's 100 calories. What? Oh, what? Yeah, it's about 100 calories. Uh, I thought it was all about the protein. That is the, protein. Yeah, this is and it's got enough. It it's got as right. much protein as like a egg white, like a regular. Right. Egg white. Okay, we discussed this protein before. We discussed this before that the skin nut and has everything. right. The nut has protein and STD, so it's just something that. We're <laughs> like, I wash all the dicks I suck here. <laughs> anyway, but you can't scrub the nut. You can't oh scrub the nut. The nut, the cane, the scrub, the nut. Scrambled nut and a frying pan. I was just curious what you could scrub. Yeah. <laughs> oh so like, really Who told me about the person that put the... I love nut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do we get tonight? You know what? How do we get tonight? Go. You said it. We How always... Not? How do we get back tonight? We always get the nut somehow, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, talking about you exercise. Are yourself? I, I want to know yeah. what the caloric. I want to really know what the caloric hard. content of that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to wreck. I didn't want to wreck my diet swallowing. You know, I I'm trying. Oh, I need help here. I didn't know it had calories in it. Like really? It does have yeah. calories. I just don't know yeah, what the calories. calories are. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, got, it's got it's got it's got nutritional value to it. it does, what about it does the sodium have and the cholesterol? Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I have Somebody, your answer. I have yeah, your answer. All right, go ahead. That's your answer. A typical uh-huh. ejaculation fills up about one teaspoon. The okay. actual amount is determined by a man's age, because of course younger men. They are already be talking about white folks. Okay. I don't hear no more. They're talking about white folks. Younger men <laughs> ain't no, worse even. Ain't mm-hmm. no brother coming out with no teaspoon. I'm throwing out the race card. Bam. <laughs> well, bam. Also, Let me get my info. Well, but it also depends on how long he's been aroused before ejaculating. Because if he's been aroused a long time before ejaculating, it will be more than a teaspoon. Okay. Yeah. So now, edging is good. Now, contrary to what we've all heard, because I heard that that sperm had 100 calories in it, but wow. contrary, to what, contrary to what we've heard, semen is not loaded with calories. Each ah! teaspoon has five to seven calories. Oh, guilt-free. And 200 to 500 million sperm. Kill okay. free. Now the oh sperm only make up one percent of the calories, of one percent of the semen. But what accounts for the other ninety-nine percent? Well, there's sugar, herpes, water, mm-hmm. gonorrhea, vitamin C. <laughs> this is my fantasy. Shut up. <laughs> so, sugar. There's, there's sugar. There's water. There's vitamin C, which we all knew about vitamin C. You can vitamin take C, 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 need that for a strong immune system. Vitamin right. C, vitamin yep. D, chlamydia, citric acid, <laughs> enzymes, Gonorrhea. protein, Chlamydia. shut up, phosphate and bicarbonate buffers, and oh, liquid crabs, liquid liquid crabs. Liquid crabs. Liquid crabs. So stupid. But now. Here, but here's your thing. Can swallowing semen enrich a protein-poor diet? Oh, wow. Unless you're gulping gallons of it each day, it's <laughs> worth up to two. Damn it, what's up, bro? I can work up to that. What's up, bro? I can work up to you. Just have to work up to, work up to, you you like to, work up to it. Motherfucker. You can't start out with a gallon of cum. You just yeah. <laughs> it's like everything else. You, you, have, you have to work wow. up to it. Uh, this, 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 conversation just hit our this, this conversation just hit This conversation. That's a lot. That's, that's gross. But <laughs> <laughs> really you don't you even know. need no uh you don't even need no slim fast or nothing, David. You got your protein shake, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you watch burn fast. Dieting? Because wow. I don't diet. I don't diet. But if you're dieting, mm. sperm is not going to break your diet. Yeah. There you go. Or your fast. I mean, well you uh, were you <laughs> we were talking about caloric intake and mm-hmm. you know. Well yes, yeah. caloric intake, that's a lifestyle thing, really, if you stop and think right. about it. Right. It's not going to break your diet. It just will break your immune system. And I think that's something that we need Listen. to talk about. Well, communication and a good going and getting tested with somebody Thank you. will keep you from having that work. Thank you very much. Right. And not, and not, being, and not being nasty. Woo! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Whatever. Woo! <laughs> <Can I tell laughs> you? It, it, if you're it, not you nasty, you're no good. You know anyway, got that it says negative. Yeah. I ain't swallowing the motherfucking thing. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. 
A leader stands alone. It's all right. <laughs> but I mean, like when women give birth, they have they eat their placenta. So oh, yeah, right. and we call those women witches. <laughs> they eat their placenta. Yeah. I ain't heard yes, nothing about nobody eating no placenta. No, they do. They do. They yeah, said it's it, very nutritious for the baby, for the for the woman. It's oh. the most nutritious thing you can have and stuff. Oh my god! Now I know people. Now what they used to do? There used to be a shampoo that had human placenta in it. Right. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Some fucking neo-Nazi shampoo that they <laughs> yeah. a couple of years ago. It was called it was called Tia Zolan Placenta. It came in a glass was, vial. Oh, it was right. like it's a little piece extremely of, expensive. It was it was mas- right. They broke right. it in a towel. They massaged it in your hair. And you right. It was called it was called Nut O Clean. Right. And they got you all... <laughs> Shut up, Grease. <laughs> <Well, laughs> so yeah, so that's what it was. But anyway. It yeah. was called Head on Your Shoulder, and it just <laughs> so <laughs> just calm it through. Head on your shoulder. <laughs> so, I'm done. I can't. You I will not you. apologize for loving that. <laughs> so I will God. not apologize for that. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to use that. Head on. I, I want to get to, um, you know, we did. Uh, we will talk about this again, though, as far as uh, health is concerned. Because it would be great if we did like help each other out as far as um, our own goals as, as mm-hmm. big dudes, like you know. Well, I mean, one of my I mean, just my... a little. I'm sorry, just a little self promotion. Mm-hmm. I am keeping a blog, which I'll put. Uh, I'll link it someplace, but I got a blog called The Fat Diaries, in which I'm trying to work out, um, I'm trying to track it myself in my own journal called The Fat Diaries. So if you want to see how a grown man can go from 340 pounds to 339 and a half, check out <laughs> The Fat Diaries. Uh, 